I'd like to introduce Ms. Lisa Lutoff Perlo, President and CEO of Celebrity Cruises. Ms. Lutoff Perlo is a high impact leader in the travel and hospitality industry. Her commitment to opening up the world through travel has brought recognition and awards to Celebrity Cruises for global impact. Ms. Lutoff Perlo was appointed President and CEO of Celebrity Cruises in 2014, making her the first and only woman to lead one of Royal Caribbean's brands. She is also the first and only female CEO of a publicly traded cruise line on the New York Stock Exchange. Ms. Lutoff Perlo has led cutting edge innovations to develop and launch multiple next generation cruise ships. She actively participates in and lends her leadership to a number of global and regional organizations. She has received numerous awards for contributions to gender equality, diversity and inclusion, as well as the travel industry in the South Florida business community. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Lisa Lutoff Perlo. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Celebrity Infinity. On behalf of myself and the amazing crew on the ship that I work with every day, we are so happy to have you here. I have an opportunity to work as a leader in an organization where team is everything. And so what I looked at teamwork as was my ability to gain a competitive advantage, not only to bring our brand where it needed to go, but also to compete in a very competitive industry, which many of us do every single day. My brand in particular works with a team made up of over 60 different cultures. There are 15,000 of us. Some of us work on land um, and some of us work at sea. And our jobs are 24 seven, 365 days a year. So when I'm interviewed and people ask me how I turn it off or how I balance my life, when you think about a 24 seven, 365 operation, um, that's absolutely impossible. I also have a fleet of 12 ships. We carry a million guests. These ships are on seven continents and we're visiting over 300 ports of call. Unless you have an amazing team of people understanding what they need to be doing uh, every single minute of every day, you are not going to win in this business. And oh, by the way, um, neither are your guests because our crew depend on each other and our guests depend on our crew to ensure that they have a safe and wonderful vacation. How many of you have taken a cruise? Good, wow, a few of you, wonderful. Um, I hope the rest of you do very soon. If you've taken a cruise, you know what an amazing experience this is. It's also very complicated. There are so many different things we offer our guests, whether it's the room you're in, or the wonderful restaurants you're dining in, or the shows that you're seeing, or the shore excursions that you're doing, and the wonderful 300 places around the world that we take you. So all of these things are individual events that happen during your vacation, but every one of them is interrelated and every one of them contributes to how you view your experience and how much you engage with our brand or wanna come back to our brand or even how much you're willing to pay for our brand, which all goes right back to improving shareholder value. So unless these teams that handle all of these different parts and elements of our crews are working seamlessly together and understand the impact they have on each other's success, we cannot win. And oh, by the way, I also have one more thing that I do outside of being president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises. I also run the global marine organization for our entire corporation. That's five brands. It's 5.8 million guests a year that we carry. It's almost $30 billion of assets. It's 50 ships, and it's well over 500 ports of call. When you're me, and you go to bed every night, and you put your head on the pillow, you wanna know that you have an extraordinary team of people making sure that these sh uh, ships are safe and reliable and nothing is going to happen that would jeopardize, um, again, the safety of our crew or our guests. So every day, I think about how we use teamwork to optimize our performance and our results. And by doing that, over the last um, almost four years, I've thought about the four different ways that that's really important when you think about a team. And what does a team need to be really successful and to thrive? Certainly they need to understand where we're going and what the goals are. 
it's important that you don't change the goalpost because once you do, it creates confusion. But if you can establish a clear set of goals by which we all come to work and operate against every single day, it's your best chance to win. We also have to make sure that the teams that we're leading, that we lead with our minds, certainly, but also our hearts. Because one of the things that I learned a long time ago, that a team will perform because everybody comes to work with a job to do. But the one way that you can really get the discretionary effort that you need to win, and win in a really meaningful way, is if, the, is if you also get the share of everyone's hearts. Because that's incremental effort and discretionary effort that's priceless. Vision is really important and how you all share a vision. When I became a new CEO almost four years ago, I also brought with me a new team. Some of them I knew and some of them I hired. And one of the things that is really important when you're looking at how you get a shared vision is to ensure that you hire for culture as much as you hire for competence. I actually skew a little more toward the culture. Um, perspective, because in order for me to do what I need to do every day, the team of people I work with needs to feel the same way I do and share not only my goals and my vision, but also the values. And joint accountability. Unless every single one of us knows that it's our responsibility to ensure we win and it's not the other person's job, we won't win. And so those for me are always the four most important parts of teamwork and certainly as a leader. As I look back, I look at our performance and our results. And when you do take a look at that, and when you start a job, um, and no one thinks you're going to be able to do this, and you've been able to do it, you think about the how, what made that happen. It wasn't me, it was the team. And the team is extraordinary, and these are the types of results that, that we're getting. And so if I delve a little further into the four things for me that are most important is, on the hearts and minds, all of this needs to be on a foundation of trust. It has to be built on the fact that people will trust you as you're telling um, everyone what the goal is and what we need to accomplish and what the expectation is, and what the shareholder value is that we have to return. You will get their hearts and their minds as long as they, um, they are built on that foundation of trust so that people will always know that wherever you're taking them, they're gonna be okay and you're gonna be okay and you support them. And when I think about a team built uh, on a foundation of trust and winning their hearts and minds, one of the other things that's really important is that people on any given day know how you feel about them. And they know that you appreciate every single thing that they do every day. And the other thing that's been brought up a couple of times as well is purpose. Because people don't only want to know how you, uh, you know how you feel about them they also want to know how you care about the world and how you care about other things and so as a, a leader of a company that has the opportunity to be out there in the world and engage in the world in a bigger way other than just share, uh, returning shareholder value and thinking about our business um, goals every single day, we have to think about what else is it that we have the opportunity to do. So whether it's engaging with the Malala Fund and helping educate girls around the world, whether it's um, creating gender balance by hiring the only African woman ever to work on the bridge of a cruise ship, whether you look at Captain Kate and the women she's standing there with and going from 5% to 30% um, of women on the bridge over an 18 month period of time, or whether it's supporting everybody's right to be recognized for who they are um, in the absence of their color or their religion or their sexual orientation. These are the things that are really important to the teams that I get to work with every day because they all look like all of those people. And when you think about what we've been able to do on a cruise working with 60 different nationalities and countries and people of all of these different um, uh, colors and, and genders as, as I just talked about and you think about what they're able to do they come on these ships as strangers and they very quickly become family and take care of each other um, I think that that's really a beautiful foundation to win hearts and minds and also a great example that the world should actually try to replicate <laughs> so as I always say and which is what I want to leave you with today. None of us 
is as good alone as we are with an amazing team of people to take us where we want to go. And with that, I would like to bring out the amazing team of people that I get to work with every single day so we can all say thank you so very much for joining us today. And so I get to acknowledge them with all of you for the amazing job that they do every single day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, Lydia. Captain Burdos, hold your tell director Bosco. And the crew of Celebrity Infinity, and oh my goodness, aren't you wonderful? Thank you, wow, that was a surprise. Thank you all very much.